All right, what's going on, guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets once again. Here with my boy Kyle. We're going to be discussing haymakers today. There's a million and one ways to skin a freaking alien, but we're going to show you two. So the first method that I like is the single hand block. All right, that's the single hand block. Uh, the second method is going to be for a guy who's a little more built, a little more strong, a little more big, uh, and that's going to be a two handed block. Now, all of you armchair warriors, I'm sure we're going to chime in and say, do it this way. No, do it this way. This is better. There's two options, guys. I mean, there's like I said, there's a lot of ways to do it. But I'm going to show you the two that I like to drill personally uh, that are my go-to kind of defense. Now, the first one is from Muay Thai, right? So he's going to swing a haymaker. I'm going to block up. Actually, we'll switch this way out. Good. I'm going to block up just with one hand, and I'm going to bring it here. Now, why do I block with one hand instead of two, right? Isn't two better? Like one is none, two is one. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm going to block here with two hands, and then Kyle just punched me in the chin, right, or whatever. So that leaves me open. So I like blocking with one, and let's just, for the camera, go. I think this will work. Kyle, go with, uh, and I come here. Let's circle, 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 circle. I think this will work. So I'm coming here. Now, I don't want to block up here like I just did. I want to block here with this uh, bony part of the arm, right? And I want bone on bicep, if I can, ideally, right? Bah! Bone on bicep. I mean, will that happen every time? No, maybe sometimes I get elbow on bicep. Maybe sometimes I get up here on the more towards the wrist. But the important part is that I'm blocking right up here in the crook of the arm. So that's going to look like this. He comes out of nowhere. Oh, shaha! And I block up here. And immediately after I block, what do you guys think? Strike, return, right? So block and return. Block and return. So I'm going to come in with the chin jab in that case. So we're going to step over here. He's going to throw. I block. I chin jab. I throw a knee strike real quick. Pretty simple. And you guys can train that to your heart's content. What I like to do is the first 10 or so reps, we go slow, we get the idea, we put it in our muscle memory, then we put the gloves on. Second 10 reps, he actually slowly comes from my head, see if he can connect, go ahead, uh, and I'm not letting him connect. I come eyes, groin, whatever, right? Then the last 10 reps that we're gonna do is actually hard. He's actually gonna try to hit me in the head like pretty hard, like, and then I block, I come here and boom. Uh, these kind of suck to drill, especially when you're the Oki or the partner, because, like, you'll get bruised up. But, hey, listen, like, battle scars, right? Like, we, we want to get bruised because we want to get tougher. Now, the second option is the two-on-one. Now, the two-on-one requires just a little bit of footwork. So what I'm going to do is we're going to move out here as far as we can. Got the damn tripod. I don't got a cameraman today. So when I come in here for the two-on-one, what I want to do is I'm stepping into him. Kyle, throw the haymaker. I'm stepping into him. Because, uh, Kyle, if I can borrow you over here, because I don't want to be on the outside. Like, throw the haymaker, right? This is on the outside, and I don't want to be out here. Ideally, throw the haymaker. I want to be in here. If worse come to worse and I get hit, I want to get hit with this forearm, right? So that's why I'm stepping in as I come in. Now, as I come in and I blast in, go ahead, I'm going to get an overhook. For those of you who know what an overhook is, this is an overhook. And what I can do with the overhook is... I can grab my shirt if I really need to make it more secure, really keep it tight. Now, I don't want to just come here and do this, right? Like, I come here, I get the overhook, I leave it here, I'll punch the shit out of me, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get killed. So instead, I really want to capitalize on this. I'm going to come, I'm going to get the overhook, and I'm going to get a nice uh, collar tie or tie clinch on the back of his neck. Bring my, sorry, bro, bring my leg, ah, all right, cool. Bring my leg back into a power knee, up and into the jaw if I can. Obviously, into the jaw, into the groin is better. Uh, two for one is always best. But those are two options that we can drill, so we'll show you them both quickly before we end the video. The first one, bam, bam, bam. And again, we're nice and covered up here as well. And then the second one, boom, overhook, knee, knee. And then after that, for the knee, we can come down. We can grab a, a hook around. Damn, this sucks without a camera. Man. Perfect. We can grab a hook around the jaw, and then we can lift him up and slam him down like that. So we'll show you that real quick. Do you mind if I take you down real quick? Yeah. Cool. So boom, overhook, right knee. Okay, we come from the knee to the groin. We circle around. I'm just doing this for the camera. We get a hook on the jaw, right? Don't hook his mouth. He'll bite you. Get a hook on the jaw, and then twist him down. Hoi-yah! 
G.I. Joe Karate Chop or whatever once he's on the ground. But those are a couple options for you guys to drill. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, hit me up, comments, like, subscribe, share. GutterFightingSecrets.com is the website if you want to learn some really serious lethal street fighting stuff. And uh, remember, the end is near. All right, guys, until next time, you are your first and last line of defense. Cheers, little guys.